And let's run this for the cardio, Brian Broaddus. <laughs> How about some, that? Got some got some questions for you today, man. I'm doing just fine. I'm sure you are. As I, well. I, you know what? I wasn't going to ask you because I know you're doing just fine. I'm doing just fine too. I know you are, man. I wouldn't think yeah. anything else but that. Yeah, I, I'm I'm lying to you already, Vosh. I'm lying. Yeah, I'm not doing fine. I'm hurt too. I'm hurting too. Trying to look down this I'm roster not, and figure out what the hell going. On. I'm I'm hurt I'm too. Not, I'm not doing fine because I'm sitting here stressing like I'm sitting in that room there at the star or any other place I've ever been. Mm -hmm. And I'm stressing on a 53rd guy. Yeah. You know? But here I am. Let's go. Man, Brian brought us. I was watching the game, man. I was, I was like, damn, boy. I, I've coached a little bit of offense, offensive line. And, you know, yeah. You know, if you're offensive line coach, you you can kind of coach running backs too. You know what I'm saying? It's just all oh, the Cowboys prove that all the time. They do we that shit all the guys time. Around. Yeah, we just yeah. move around. We coach whatever you want. And you know, if you are if you a high school O line coach, they'll throw you with the D line sometimes. You know, you 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 you. <laughs> but man, I ain't never coached special teams before, Brian. I have no expertise <laughs> in special teams. I don't even know what they even teach over there. I don't. Even, all I yeah. know is gunner and person protect. I don't know shit else. <laughs> but man, yeah. Brian, I started. I started thinking about how hard people's jobs are, you know, like it's hard to be CD lamb. That's a tough job. It's hard to be <laughs> Dak Prescott. That's difficult. We it's see that jobs. They're the hard, hard jobs. Yeah. Michael parts, you know, hard job. And, and, and when it comes to special teams, I imagine trying to be Cavante Turpin is difficult. That's explosive right there. That's mom yeah. and dad. It's hard to be like him. Mom and dad. Yep. Mom and dad. Brian. How hard is it to teach somebody the things that Malik Davis does for this mm. team? You know, you whispered yeah, this, you you whispered this in our ear about three weeks ago, and we didn't listen. We hard headed kids, man. We don't mm. listen to shit. I was like, Malik Davis, Brian tripping. And man, the closer we get, man, that boy, that Malik Davis talk gets loud, and yeah. he play all the special teams, Brian. I'm like, man, mm. he plays all the special teams. How hard is it to teach somebody how to play all the special teams? You know? Yeah. CJ Goodwin is a good like he run fast and he's a good how hard Sam Williams did it for a little while. How hard how hard Sam, some, Sam, Sam Williams got her attention, didn't he? How hard big some, old, Yeah. Big old body running down the field like that. Yeah. So Brian, if Bones Fossil politics gets in the way of better dudes making this roster. Yeah. I just want to know how hard it is to find a new personal protector or how hard it is to find a new gunner or how hard it is to find somebody that thousand one thousand two run and go tackle. How hard is it to find somebody to do that? Brian, Brian? I'll tell you what, uh, special teams coaches don't make it easy on any of us to figure that out. Uh, I, I can't tell you how many times I've watched special teams practice and looking at it and think, Okay, you have to have a little skill to do this, some skill to do that. Yeah, okay, you get rid of guys. I just see guys that have a lot of effort, yeah. a lot of desire, a lot of just mean SOB type guys that do this. And this is the thing that kills me because I'm to that point, and you're 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 walking me right down that path right now. Yeah. How I'm trying to think like, okay, I understand Malik Davis. I get it. You know, I get it. You don't have running backs that don't play special teams. Zeke ain't playing special teams. Rico Dowdle at one time played special. He ain't playing special teams anymore. Not as a backup guy. So all of a sudden you're thinking, okay, well, who's that guy? Well, God, we got this Deuce Vaughn. You know, Deuce Vaughn is a shorter guy. I mean, Deuce Vaughn plays with a huge heart. Yeah. I blitz pickup, step up, toughness. I mean, he – he gives you everything he has for, you know, but he's a short guy. Mm -hmm. And so you wonder, does that affect how he's able to be a personal protector? Mm -hmm. Somebody that's one of the blockers on the punt team or, you know, one of these things. I mean, he, there's, there's things that he, that he does that because of his lack of height limit, how effective he could be. So now I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I'm looking at this Julius Wood. Yeah. That safety. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I don't want to lose Julius Wood. Even though I I almost guarantee you, Vash, yeah. 
that if I put him on the street, he'll come back. Because that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, every time we, ah, ah, we can't, we can't, you know, every time you argue this stuff, yeah. all these dudes show back up. Yeah. So that means maybe Malik Davis will show back up if I put him out back out there, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's hard to teach a guy to do it. I think you have to have the skill to do it. But if they're only going to let me carry 53 players in a, you know, and then 46 to play in a game, I got to figure out who my guys are going to go to the game. You know, I got to figure that out. And I guess they're thinking that they will take they will take Malik Davis to the game just because of the point that you made, I think, a couple of shows ago. And you're talking about Zeke. Yeah. And you're talking about Rico Daddle's health. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it turns into, wow, that cat has to play. Whoever that third guy is, we have to take him off special teams, and we got to go put him in the offense now. So maybe that's why my thought of – when I broke down my 53, my three running backs, alphabetical order is how I put them in there. Mm -hmm. Dowdle, Elliott, Vaughn. And you know what I kept? I kept Julius Wood yeah. because, you know what, I'm going to play special teams with him. I mean, I'm going to, you, if you're going to tell me Malik Davis, I got to, fine. This forces me now to have to dress Deuce Vaughn mm -hmm. is what this does. And I'll have to figure out some scheme. You know, they were trying to, they were trying to figure out scheme things in the OTAs. Mm -hmm. So the guy got hurt. He got hurt in training camp. All of a sudden, all the scheme ideas went out the window. But you could see it, man. He's running with more, he's running with toughness. He, you know, Trey Lance trying to throw him the ball on the outside. That Trey's got that long motion and it, you know, the whip of the arm, and he sits on his back foot, and the ball flies on him sometimes. Yeah, and it's hard to throw the ball to a, a shorter guy. It's hard. Mm -hmm. So you know. But anyway, to your point, your question. I'm going on and on. Oh, please, but this pisses me off in a way because I, I agree with you. I think you could teach guys to do this. Do they have the talent to do this? Is Davis that it's it's kind of the same argument with you know with CJ Goodwin? Is this guy a difference maker for keeping a roster spot? To Bones Fossil, he is. Okay, I'll give you that one. How many more of these are you gonna take from me? You know, how many more are you gonna take? And these coaches do. That's what they do. They they well, that's my guy. That's my guy. Brian, let me let me ask you a question that I'm sure you know the answer What's to. What's your already. answer? Give me your answer on that. About Malik Davis? I went, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, can you teach? What do you have to do yeah. to teach a guy? Because yeah. I do. I go out there and watch, and it seems like there's a, of an hour and a half or two-hour practice. It seems like there's 30 <laughs> minutes of special team stuff. Sure. I'm watching them try and coach up wide receivers who, who've never played special teams in their life. Trying to get, you know, trying to get Racy McMath to cover punts. Yeah. You know? I mean, they they try. Yeah. But if it's costing me an opportunity for a guy because, you know, that you 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 don't have Malik Davis and you have somebody else playing special teams, well, then they they have to dress Deuce Vaughn. Well, th this is my whole thing with Davis, Brian. First of all, let me ask you a question that I'm sure you know the answer to already, but some people may not. Yeah. Brian, did you know that Devin Hester played cornerback? I did not know he was a cornerback. Well, no. well damn, that proves my that proves my point even better. He was a wide receiver at some point, but he was a cornerback first. I, I thought he was always a wide receiver. At, at first he was but he was a cornerback first. You wanna know okay. why you ain't know he was a damn cornerback? Because he was so special on yeah. teams that it didn't matter what he did. There you go. Malik Davis ain't that. Yeah. CJ Goodwin ain't that. See, that's that's where I'm at right now. It, I agree. I need Matt, you to Matt be so Slater, special. The guy at New England. Yeah. It, if if I that I'll, I'll throw you a guy. We we talked about Jeff Heath. Special. 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 Jeff Heath. You know Aisha Morrison again talking about her this morning. I Aisha Morrison goes that guy was an mf'er. Yeah. If you had your kicker says I'm hurt, he's kicking a field goal for you. Sure. Or kicking off. Yeah. You know, that's that's that that to me is a roster spot. 
if that's a roster spot for a guy. I think Wanye would be perfect at it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure yeah. all it has to be is, hey, Wanye, when you da 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 say yeah. said hut, motherfucker. Like it, it can't be that much, right? Yeah. But Brian, I notice everything. I notice small things, big things, nuances. And you know, when Malik Davis was the first running back that they rolled out there, yeah. the first thing that popped in my mind was, man, I wonder if they're trying to sell us on the idea that Malik Davis can be a serviceable running back for you. Sure, sure. I, I wonder if this is what they, because they rolled him out first, like it was him, and mm -hmm. then they rolled um, Royce, and then it was Deuce, in that mm -hmm. order. And mm -hmm. then after a while, Deuce stopped, part, he, Deuce stopped being part of that rotation. It was a whole bunch yeah. of Malik. Malik even played into the third he quarter. He was a punt returner. Yeah. They, kept, they kept him on as the punt return guy. Sure. Yeah. And I'm up here, I'm like, man, are they trying to convince us that Malik can do this? Because if they're trying, it's not working. I actually walked away from this thinking worse about Malik at, at, at running back than I did at first. Because I knew he wasn't competing with Rico or Zeke or anything like that. And Brian, trust me, there's Cowboy fans that feel, there's some that feels like Malik can compete with Rico and Deuce. But now sure. this showed me that Malik can't even compete with Royce and Vaughn, Freeman and Vaughn, Brian. Yeah. yeah. So, man, I'm up here looking at this. And I'm just talking myself through it, Brian. I'm like, man, you can leave that dude out. Because Deuce Vaughn showed me, Brian, and man, it wasn't just the Barry Sanders stuff, man. Oh, he, yeah. He getting tough yards now, Brian. Yeah, he putting, he tough. He putting yeah. his head down and he dragging people. He had a he had a he had a big run, face mask mm -hmm. at the end. Then he had a big ass return that got called back because of holding. Man, Deuce is proving his point here. You can't look at me and be like, well, Vach, I understand what you're saying about Deuce the runner, Deuce the blocker, Deuce the return man. Malik Davis is a personal protector, Vach, and he's our fifth best running back. That ain't doing it for me, bros. Yeah. That ain't doing it for me. I'll even, I'll even go light at tight end and offensive line just to make all this make sense. Just to make all this make sense. Like the whole thing we've been having conversation about, hey, can you put Lipke as your fourth tight end just yeah, to carry yeah. another running back? I'm mm -hmm. doing that at this point just to keep – and I don't want to sound this way about Malik Davis, man, because he he probably love our show. But, man, no offense, dog, but th th this is the best 53 guys. Yeah, Everybody's making big plays but you. 57 making big plays. 14 played the whole game, making bigger plays than you. Right. And meanwhile, Malik Davis is down to, to, to the fifth running back, and you just can't justify keeping him here when there's dudes that can make this team. Yeah, We're up here talking about Israel McQuamu as a 52nd, 53rd, 54th, wherever he may fall, mm -hmm. Izzy or Davis. That's an yeah. easy conversation. 57 or Davis. Uh, Harvey, not Harvey, Johnson. It's Buddy, Buddy Johnson, yeah. Buddy, Buddy Johnson. Johnson. Buddy Johnson or Davis. This is You, uh, you are talking about Wood. On yeah. Woods' interception, Vigil deflected the damn ball. I say, all right, Vigil. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to make your way out here, Nick Vigil, or Vigel, yeah. however you say his name. I'm like, man, Malik Davis just hasn't made enough plays for me. And I hope politics don't hit this hard. So now I'm looking on the roster like, man, what dude can, can I teach to be a personal protector? Yeah. What dude can I teach this job to? What dude can I teach punt gunner to? Cause I, it, it's just not adding up to me, Brian. So I'm, I'm sure me and you gonna do a roster exercise Tuesday when they, yeah. when they, when they drop all this stuff and everything's gonna be gonna change from here and out. But man, if you, if you, if you put Malik Davis out on the street, nobody gonna look at Malik Davis and be like, yo, we gotta have that dude on. We gotta take him from the Cowboys because he's special on special teams. Yeah. If if that was the case, there wouldn't be any argument here. Wouldn't be his. His, I, I've moved past, I've moved past the C.J. Goodwin mm -hmm. one, yeah, too, because I, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna win any of these. Sure, I'm not gonna win any of these. If I was in personnel, Bones Fossil would not be too happy with me, because I would then be, because I would be the guy that, the reason why I'm doing radio is because I piss everybody off, because I, I'm like, why, why are we, why are we doing this? Yeah. And I'm not always right, sure. but I, I'm not going to sit there and let somebody just rubber stamp something, you know, let a coach, oh, no, we, you know. Let, okay, if we have to play a game, mm -hmm. we have to play a game, can we put Malik Davis in there and be good with it? Can we put Deuce Vaughn in there and be good with it? You know? I mean, you're right. There's there's things about Malik Davis that you, you have to say, okay, he can do this, he can do that. 
but he doesn't do them as well as the other guys you were talking about. Sure. It's just and 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 if and it goes back to if you're going to have guys designated as special teams players, give me those Jeff Heath MFers. Yeah. You know, those are the guys I want. You know, those are the guys that I know. Hell, I, I'm gonna tell you this. This Buddy Johnson. That might be a special team MF for the way that cat runs and gets the ball and hits people and stuff like that. Amazing plays, man. He he might be like, we're also like, damn, Buddy Johnson. Oh, who, who the hell? No, 57. Watch that tape. Yeah. Watch the tape every week of this guy running and making plays. You know, it, great example. Ball goes to the flat. They're going to get a first down probably. You know, who's running 57 running from the inside tackling the guy before they get – and then they give us that – Oh, we have it. We're stopping for a virtual measurement here. I'm yeah. thinking that that's a damn first down. Sure. Oh, no, wait a minute. It's not a first down. They have Buddy Johnson from the inside there. You know? Oh, Buddy Johnson running this guy down over here. You know, th- th- this guy's a ball player. And when you watch tape and you see that, you're, you're thinking, like, how do I get that guy on the team? I think the Wood kid's a ball player. Sure. I do. He. It's not about interceptions and things. He's had a couple – it's about him just being tough, him making tackles, him playing downhill. Yeah, you know, and it, and, he, and he plays in a deep position. And I'm probably just, I'm probably pissing in the wind right now talking about it. But that's that's the kind of guys I want on my team. And sometimes these coaches will keep you from having the type of roster you need to have. Yeah. And I'm not, and, and I'm sure some coaches are going to watch this and they're going to uh, brought us. You're full of shit. And I'm fine with that, you know. That's that's fine, but man, my my roster, the way I look at it, I want guys that are going to every time I put them on the field, there's a chance for them making a big play. And I don't know if Malik Davis is that guy, yeah. and I didn't know if CJ Goodwin was that guy either. But they tell me he is. They tell me he is. Hey man, I don't see, I don't see it. <laughs> you know, I don't want to. I don't want to beat a beat a dead horse about this this whole Davis thing. Hopefully, the right thing happens, but um, yeah. you know it I, won't. It, it won't. Yeah, because I asked somebody somebody on Twitter asked me like you know, and I I put the I put the guys up that I think they're going to make it from them. Mm-hmm. I think Davis I think he's going to make it. You know, and there's some people that will find a way to have four running backs on the team. Sure. You know, four running backs and the fifth running back be Hunter Lipke. Yeah, there are people working around, but. Give, you know, if we're just doing this because so and so is a personal protector or he's a good gunner or something, I mean, like, yeah, really? Okay. But yeah. That's, that's not enough for me, Brian. I always thought that you built this team based on the dudes that could play whatever it is that they actually play. And then you pull from that group of guys and be like, all right, y'all go play teams. David Hellman told me that Trey Lance might be the best running back on the team. <laughs> Well, Dave Dave is being funny. Trey Trey might be the second best running. You see that back. formation? You see his formation? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dave, Dave did a shotgun. He did his on Twitter. He did shotgun formation. Yeah, he had four. And he had nineteen next to four. <laughs> his ass can run though, bro. Hey, look, Trey Trey Lance can run with some grace and elegance, man. I'm up here nah, watching he, him. He's he's he is very graceful. Now, very Brian, graceful. me now me and you had a conversation about Lance the other day. Like, if we're in a regular season and somebody yeah. needs to do X Y Z and you just need somebody for one game what would you do i think it's pretty clear what we do now we go with cooper rush even though trey lance could do some great things but he'll throw five picks on your ass you'll lose that damn game boy i'm just telling you man the 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 interception that he threw in the end zone yeah they're gonna run the slant and they're gonna try and get burnett they're gonna try and get him behind yeah and he pulls down from the slant. He's not going to throw the slant inside. He never saw that defender standing in the end zone. Wow. He Man, I ran that thing back a hundred times. And I watched his head. He never saw that guy standing there. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the thing. That's the thing that just kind of kind of just makes you a little bit like, oh, geez, what's what do you just see there? But it was that's tough, man. That's tough when, you know, you got to make that throw and you look at it and you're saying, okay, if you don't throw that slant, throw that thing away or throw it to the back corner and throw it away. Sure. 
he he didn't give himself a chance to throw it because his eyes never allowed him to see that guy standing in the end zone. Sure. I got three more comments about Trey, but while you was talking, I had to go back to some old film last year just to just to find out what our actual punt team looked like. And I couldn't yeah. find a game where we punted a lot, so I went to San Francisco because we did nothing but punt that damn day. Yeah. Now, Hunter Lipke, Juan Gay Thomas, uh, Marquise Bell, Damone Clark, 84 is Sean McEwen. McEwen, yeah. Long snapper. Sieg, Sieg. yeah, Sieg. Long snapper, schoolmaker, and Malik Jefferson. So you'll probably need another guy uh, for right here. Brian, right. what's what's wrong with this group of guys right here to where we, we, we feel like we have to add Malik Davis to this? Well, like you said, the the whole thing, maybe, maybe Bones Fossil doesn't like 30 as his personal protector. Yeah. Maybe that's a problem. And maybe maybe he finds a way to make uh, 30 have to be 40 spot or 14 spot. That's what he's – I my my guess my guess would be that 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 he's just something something's not clicking there that he he just likes he likes Malik in that spot better than he likes Wanya Thomas in there right now. Bones ain't clicking there. That's what the hell ain't clicking. Me, <laughs> bon, bon, bones making me sick, Brian. Bro, um, back to uh, Trey Lance though. <laughs> what I know is about Trey, man, and it, it it could just just be this offense, right? Because if it's any other offense, you know, like these Shanahan type off, or just let me just say Jalen Hurts like hit on the Eagles, right? It's like a big read and maybe like a small read and then run, right? Yeah. But Trey. In this offense, in particular, West Coast or whatever, you have your big read, but your second read needs to be immediately after your first read. And if you don't hit it, you just you just behind. Yeah. Trey falls behind in his reads all the time. He he just falls behind, but he he, he ends up running the football if he <laughs> if he's that far behind his read. And he and 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 bro, like him end up having ninety yards rushing at the end of the day is a fantastic. I was impressive, day. wasn't it? It's a, it's a fantastic day for a running back, Brian. Bro, but it gets really bad in the red zone for him too. Like like yeah, like, we talked about this, didn't we? Yeah yeah yeah. Like the the closer he gets to the red zone, all yeah. that space gets real tight, tight. and then he and yeah. then he falls behind on his reads. Trey looks real real bad. But he is improving, though, bro. I can, I can, I, I can give him that much. He's improving, but boy, I don't want him to play in the regular season. Right Let now. me tell you what that throw early on the first drive that he made to Billy Johnson, the twenty-five yard, the out, the left side, out, yeah. Mm -hmm. He made that's a harder throw. <laughs> <laughs> he, Brian, he, had, shut up. he had he had Cropper. You know when we, we always talk about Dak and yeah. Cooks from that deep in, yeah. That, that usually sits right between the two safeties. Yeah, it's like Trey. Trey saw the saw a Cropper on the deep crossing route. Yeah, and he could have just ripped it right. Probably a pretty easy throw. Mm -hmm. Instead, he took the more difficult throw to the <laughs> outside, and he pulled it off. That's Josh see, Allen, man. Trey, Josh Allen for real, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes he'll make a throw where you're going. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I see. Yeah, he's, but he. It's like he didn't see yeah. the easier throw. He said, "No, nah, I'm just going to take this tightrope throw yeah. on the left side for 25 yards." Might have been the best throw he's had all camp. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it, you're going to go, "Holy jeez!" But he did. He gave up an easier throw to make a harder throw. That's sometimes you don't see the field all that well. Trey you know? ha Trey has some really interesting arm talent though, because you can see the ball fly off his hands. That oh, yeah. that that very last throw, uh, the ball came, the ball. Fly, it, it, I thought it got tipped. The last the interception yeah. for the for the touchdown. Yeah, I thought it got tipped at the line. Mm. He got rid of the ball. It it just it fell out. It it like it slipped out of his hand. Yeah, it's like he. Let me tell you what the um the first interception that he threw the one that they ran what we call the old green uh, san francisco bill walsh offense the mm -hmm. sprint right option yeah, yeah. where you run the out and then you kind of you kind of run a guy through to pick yeah. which flournoy didn't do very well mm -hmm. and then they try and run the out but the but he's it's it the, the the teaching on it is one two throw not one two pat the ball yeah throw you know it's it's not that and the ball was get was out late, but he, again, it's it. You know, you're thinking like, okay, this has got a ch this. You know, oh wow, it's got a chance. Oh, 
no quarterback was late with the ball. Mm-hmm. You know, and it allowed the – but, you know, they they tried to run Flournoy vertical and he didn't get a pick. Yeah. He, he, didn't, he didn't he didn't affect anybody. Sure. So, but that, that that's the kind of thing with Trey that you – but that last interception, man, that ball, it fluttered out of his hand. Yeah. That ball, that I mean, when you, you watch it, I'm thinking like, oh, here we go. Oh, I thought it got tipped. No, it, was, it, it, there, just, it, it just it just exploded like a helicopter out of his hand. Sure. Yeah, no chance. No chance. Back to roster building, Brian. <laughs> you know, I feel like the tight ends got very active yesterday. I feel like every last one yeah. of them did something. I feel like they all did like holla, <laughs> Brevin yeah. Ford, you know, so all, yeah. all those guys did a little something. Mm-hmm. Are you willing to go light at tight end, Brian, with the information that we have today? Uh, it's it's looking like Ferguson. John Stevens had an incredible catch on, off, off of an incredible throw, but he fumbled yeah. at the end. You can't have that. Um, so that's a problem. Brevin Span Ford, I feel like had a had a flash of a better day. Better day, yeah, better day, much yeah. better. But you know, as far as we can trust him in the regular season, I don't. I think I'm just mm-hmm. lacking a lot of trust in his room. If your name mm-hmm. ain't ain't Ferguson for real, you know. Yeah. Um, I feel like if you let a lot of these guys go, they'll be they'll be available for you. I feel like nobody's mm-hmm. gonna take it from. And Brian, that could be another angle to this thing, though, right? Watch this. Vice says this. Do Do you think? A lot of guys or just some of these guys are, are going to get cut just based on the idea that coaches may feel like, okay, nobody's going to gonna take them from us. So we mm-hmm. could just cut them right now, right? We have yeah. plans yeah. for, you know, Princeton fan, but nobody's going to take them. So let's just put, let's just cut him, right? As opposed yeah. to we're going to watch and be like, man, how, how this dude make the team? But that dude may possibly get taken or something like that, Brian. Uh, top yeah. Up. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, uh, it's a it's a great question because every year that I was in the league, there were some bad teams we were on. Those cowboy teams in the early two thousands, we we cut we cut players and they, they, we were like, no one's going to claim this team. Sure, nobody's going to claim these guys. You know, and you always got to that point where you were worried about cutting guys and them coming back. The Ridgeway one was, I don't think the Ridgeway one was cute. They just. You know, they did it in a way that they tried to bring. I forgot who they were trying to bring back. They were trying to bring back a receiver at the time or something. It was, it was a those, gallop. It was, it was a gallop off his injury. With the gallop, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it. You know, you're just you're trying to like maybe there's some another direction you could have gone there, but you know, I always felt like that if I was a general manager of a team, and this is just me, I'm not going to let you put somebody out there that I think is better than one of my guys. And I'm not, I'm going to punish you for doing it too. Yeah. And I don't know if more general managers, if I was a general manager of a bad team or a team that I thought was really talent deficient, I'd claim there, there couldn't be, you couldn't stop me from claiming players Sure. because I, I'm going to, this, this to me was always the second draft. The set in the second draft, we had the first draft. Dallas looks like they did all right in the first draft. Mm-hmm. Look, you know, with the guys they've got other than Thomas, looks like they've done all right this first draft. Yeah. You put somebody out there at running back or one of these edges, you know, we, I, I don't know. I, I, I'll tell you, Vash, I'm, I'm caught on real quick. I'm sorry. I, I ramble around too much for you. Um, I, I was caught a little bit on Muhammad, yeah. you know, I watched some things from Muhammad. Yeah. And I'm watching him play and I'm like, Damn, that was pretty good. Him and Daxon yeah. had a really good second half. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know, you're kind of watching Carl Lawson and you're thinking, okay, Carl Lawson initially, okay, some good things. And I think Carl Lawson got tired a little bit. They took him out. Sure. But I'm watching Muhammad and I'm thinking, Wheat or Muhammad. I'm thinking, gosh, this last game, it looks like Muhammad. Mm-hmm. Better than Wheat. Yeah. So if I'm thinking about those guys, but yes, to your point, you know, you might put some of those guys out there. That you won't you won't get him back, but every time they ever say that, yeah. Wednesday morning, Todd Williams walks into the room and tells us, "Hey, all our guys cleared." <laughs> so okay, so Brian, Thank fantastic you. point, Thank right? Fant- so look, Julian would probably come right back. I don't think anybody's yeah. taking him oh, or sure. Buddy Johnson. And I, and, I, and I'm yeah, you're, and you might be right. You might be. Right. I, I'm just. I think watching them because I haven't watched every single team play. Sure, you know, I I've been so focused at camp watching. The Dallas Cowboys play. I I could tell you about the Rams. 
I can tell you about the Raiders. I can tell you a little bit about the Chargers. But everybody else, no. I, I can't tell you about those teams. And I don't know if they would say, well, oh, God, you, you, and they got, that buddy Johnson can play a little bit. He might be better than our, our fifth linebacker. So sure. that's how I would do it. I, whoever, whoever the final running back is on this roster, I would make the pro department come in here and tell me, is this guy cut better than? Is this guy cut better than? Is this guy cut better than? You know, I, I, I would, I would, uh, if we're going to keep Malik Davis, you know, is there somebody better? Tell me right now. Which is my point, Brian. I don't think Deuce and Florinoy get back to you. I think if 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 yeah. if if those dudes are out there, and, mm. and look, Brian, you are absolutely. And look, I actually thought about it too. Like, man, every time we say they're gonna take somebody, they don't oh, take. Yeah, it's like yeah, we we panic. We're like, ah, you can't put him out there. Vaughn and Florinoy will not get back to you. I sincerely believe that. Do you think the thing with Vaughn? Do you think people? Do you think people really? I mean, he he had a chance. He he had a chance to be drafted. He was picked in the sixth round. Mm -hmm. Do you think people are now seeing him and saying, "Wow, he can play in the NFL," or or is it or is it his? Some teams have those parameters or the standards sure. of yes. height, sure, and he falls well below those parameters. the The problem is, Brian. It only it only takes one team to rob you. Oh, I know. You're yeah. right. You're so, right. so, you know, if it's, if it's 31 teams, 18 of them can be like, nah, dog, we discriminate, Rander. we discriminate on, on, on five, five running backs over here. Right. But right. man, you, you know, I mean, find me a team and, and look, it's rough. Cause I've been looking at these rosters and it seemed like everybody got five running backs. That's just better than ours. But there yeah. is somebody that, that got a running back room that's in worse shape than ours that go, man, I could use that kid. I could use oh, this. That, little dude. I, that, that is, or even better, Brian. Last year, somebody go, oh man, man, nobody won no five five running back. But then no. they watch Deuce this year and they go, hey man, he run a little tougher now. Yeah, that's. I mean, the point you made earlier about him running the ball. There's no more dancing around behind the line of scrimmage. It mm -hmm. is like get three yards at second and seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, next get the ball again. Get five yards. Yeah. You know, there's no, there's no more. That there was that time where he was a. Du -du 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 and then it tackle for no gain or a minus play, negative play. No, he's taking the ball and attacking. And if he could get through and make more, he is. And if he has to spin once he gets up the field, he's going to do that. So what so. that tells me is that Deuce Vaughn learns lessons. In four years, Malik Davis ain't learned shit. Dumb, dumb, monko, monko. So let's just quit playing. <laughs> just mm -hmm. move on from the guy, bro. And, you know, uh, and I think Florinoy would be here anyway because he's like – Brian, let me ask you a question. If I say this, who's who's your wide receivers right now? Let's just let's just go ahead and stop playing around and do this. Oh, there's people out there that hate Brooks, by the way. Jalen Brooks? Well, yeah. No, nah, we're not it's moving fan, on. Fan, no, fan base. No, nah, we can't. Yeah, you're right. Uh Lamb, <laughs> Cooks, <laughs> Tolbert. Right? Yeah, you, you cowboy yeah. fan. Lamb, <laughs> Lamb, Cooks, Tolbert. Brooks is is a, is an obvious four. We we can't say nothing about Brooks. So now you got Turpin and Flornoy as your possible five and six, Brian Broaddus. Yeah. Do you carry Flournoy, five? Flournoy, you... I carried I carried six. <laughs> Alphabet I just put them in alphabetical order for my sake because that's yeah. Brooks, Cooks, Flornoy, Lamb, Tolbert, Turpin. You know, that's Brian, you know, Brian, in the draft in the draft process, man, Florida was like, Yeah, man, you know, I got a lot of Dez Bryant to my game. And I was like, Yeah, fuck out of here. You got no Dez. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. But 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 Brian. He's a he's a pretty he's a, he's a pretty good yak guy, strong hands, physical dude. Too. He can block he'll, his ass. <laughs> if you let him get on the edge on that crack stuff, he, yeah. he will crack somebody. He yeah. kind he kind of got some dance to his game. He's just not as he, you know. yes. He did he did he did he didn't want to believe it. Neither did any of us. But yeah. uh, he does have some he does have some Des Bryant to his game. So you, sure. so Brian, you got six receivers. You have to go short at offensive line, running back, tight end. I went nine. I went Not, nine offensive linemen. Yeah. I went uh, tackles. Sure. Guyton, Richard Steele. Mm -hmm. Offensive guard, I went ball, bass. I put ball on this team. Let's talk, ball. Brian. Let's talk, Brian. I put does, ball on this team. Does Awesome Richards, and sorry, because it's, like it's like a cuss word if you hold on. Does, hold on. Does Awesome Richards 
and his position flexibility, <laughs> does that allow you to to leave that left guard spot? Because look, Josh Ball been moved all over the place, but but, yeah. I'm, I'm, but I'm sick of Josh yeah. Ball, and you hate it. But does Austin Richards and his position flexibility does that make you feel better about carrying one less guy? I I think I think it makes me feel better, but I think that they're going to like. I think they like Ball that much. And that they they they. <laughs> This this thing with this thing with Richards, I think they like him more as a tackle than they do as a guard. They do. That's why I got ball playing the guard. Let me tell you why. You but if it was if I had to play a game, yeah, I think I'd put Austin Richards in there at guard. I think I would. Of course you would. I would. Well, I mean, but but I've got Bass, I've got Bass and Ball. Sure, they'll, they'll put Bass in there. Brian, they'll let me ask you this. To to combo that with my with my earlier question that I asked you, right? The whole don't nobody want him. Mm-hmm. Josh Ball would be a perfect candidate for, for 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 like nobody wants him though, right? Like, yeah, you can see this world where Josh Ball can play for you, but just roster gymnastics wise, is Josh Ball a guy that you could just cut and bring him back and just elevate him when you need it? Why do I think he's the ninth guy of the nine I just named? Man, because that's how they. I'm feel. just. I bet. Okay, now, now, now we're getting into it here. Sure. If you if you want to keep this depth chart. if you want to keep Davis, get rid of get rid of Ball. Yeah. Mm. I I just know this. My personal hell sure. that I went through. You put offense and defensive linemen out there, people will pick those guys off, and I'll tell you why. Because mm. there ain't enough of them. Mm. They're like, whoa, wait a minute. This guy, he showed a little something. I mean, he could be our 10th guy. He could be our 10th guy. And I know you're not buying it a damn bit. I can, mm. I, I don't even have to look at you. I don't even have to look at you right now to look know at, you're not buying it. Look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm not buying it. I know you're not buying it. I mean, that's why I'm telling you. I know you're not buying it. But my personal hell was we get an offensive lineman hurt, and then I have to go poach somebody off a of practice squad. And then these coaches are reminding me, yeah, you know, when we wanted to keep that Josh Ball, you jackasses, you know, put him on the street. And he got claimed. And he, you know, you know. and I'm like, okay, yeah, you're right. I'm a jackass. But that, I just feel like, though, they could, they could, they could probably go without Josh Ball. But I, I know there's going to be something that happens. And I'm like, okay, he's inactive every week. But I've got a guy that I feel, because, I don't Matt will let's go, I think, has regressed. If you had to give me a choice of one or the other, I would take ball, which is what I did. But I didn't convince you worth a damn, so I'm gonna go on to the next subject. Your your player personnel friends that get cussed out for for arguing with me about uh cutting Josh Ball. Josh, Josh hasn't done anything. And 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 I think the only reason he here because he got naked pictures of somebody. And, and and he and he's been moved around. He's a six. Are you seven, gonna go? Are you gonna go with eight then? Or are you gonna go with eight? Offensive lineman, is that what you're going to do? I honestly you're feel gonna, like you're going you're gonna to mess around like you did at linebacker last year, and you're going to get guys hurt, and you're not going to have enough offensive linemen. I honestly feel like Brian brought us. So you got five. BB mm-hmm. should be first. So, so BB and Hoffman. So that's six. Yeah, we can talk about Bass, but I'll say seven. Choma be healthy at some point. Yeah. So I'll I'll, I'll call him the eighth guy. Yeah. Austin Richards is is my nine guy. Nathan is probably an IR for the rest of the year type dude. I, I would put, he has not practiced very much at all. I would, that patella tendonitis sounds pretty serious to me. I'd go ahead and put him uh, down if it was me. So I'm at, man, Brian, I'm at eight right now. My my ninth yeah. guy can be, look, if if Josh can play right tackle, then I'll just cut Walesco and I'll, I'll carry Josh Ball. Oh, don't do it now. <laughs> don't, don't, be, don't, be, don't be logical guy now. Because well, Go okay. Do me a favor. Seriously, sure. do me a favor. Sure. Play with play with eight. Play with eight guys. Play with eight guys and tell me who you would keep on that you might not. I'm not talking about offensive line. I'm just talking yeah. about another position. Or you're going to want to keep that tight. You 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 fell in love with the tight ends. You were telling me all about these tight ends. I can go less tight end. I can go less tight ends. But no, no, no. You wanted to go more tight ends earlier. You were like, I was told you I went three, and you're like, oh, all these tight ends did something. This is my thing. Ford? This is my thing. And Ford? Okay, so look, this is my thing. I think we can go three tight ends because Lipke would be a a fourth for you. You know what I'm saying? So okay. if if Lipke is your is your fourth tight end in my mind, then yeah. your other four running backs can be 
uh, Zeke, Dowdle, Vaughn, um, Freeman. Okay, you're going to keep Freeman. I'm keeping you're Freeman because okay. Fre- because because Freeman so, was better than okay. Davis too. Go ahead. Okay, so so in your mind, mm-hmm. just just I think I've got this right. Sure. In your mind, I think, or in my mind, excuse me, I think Ball is better than Freeman. Mm-hmm. In your mind, you're saying no, Broadus. Freeman's better than Ball. More reason to have Freeman here. Here's my point, right? Because Josh Ball, let me get this out here. Josh Ball is a guy I feel like I will never have to use this season. Royce Freeman with old man Zeke and hurt guy Rico, I, you might need him. Yeah, I'm. You know, you're not wrong about that. But you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I, I'm. If you, you, if if we don't claim one here, cut Freeman the practice squad. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Unless if, we, if, if, unless somebody else, unless we find a new running back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But to your to your question, if I had to use eight offensive linemen, like if I had to, yeah. um, I would go with your. First five, and I would say Hoffman and me. You look, I, I got something. I got something to ask you about Hoffman and Shipley in that little fight because Hoffman looked a little weird yesterday. But I tell you what, Shipley looked a little better than Shipley Hoffman. looked better than Hoffman. But we'll talk in a second. Hold on. Uh, you got your five. We'll just say Hoffman right now. I think Bass is Bass can play both guards for you. I think mm-hmm. Chuma. I don't know why Chuma's not in the guard conversation anymore, but I think Chuma can play tackle and guard for you. I think Awesome can play tackle and, and guard for you. So if I only had to carry eight, I think I could be fine carrying eight. But if we start getting getting hurt, I'm going to get fired and shit. But that's just how I feel. Um, yeah. But to your point, though, we was just kind of kind of alluding around this, man. Mm-hmm. I was watching Shipley. Shipley was playing with a little bit of power yesterday, man. And, he and, was. and Hoffman he was. looked like he was having a bad day. What's going on with Hoffman, man? I tell you what, Hoffman, the thing that Hoffman, and this this goes back to what we were talking about with Tyler Biotish. Mm-hmm. When you have to reach or scoop those wide techniques, and I mean wide like a three technique or sure. even a one technique, it man, it seems like that Hoffman just cannot get his head across those guys. Yeah. And it seems like it's it turns into snap, step, have to shove, have to shove. I don't know the tackle's going to make the play, you know, or he's down the line, going to be in part of the tackle. <sighs> Power, yes. Sure. Athletic ability, no. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what Hoppin. And I, and you know what? Maybe it was all going to be, you know, maybe it all was all along going to be BB. Yeah. You know, maybe all along. I mean, once, once they started playing, I don't know if, I don't know if uh, Mike Solari has a foot to stand on right now. Mm-mm. With that, not not with Brock Hoffman, he doesn't. Mm-mm. Hoffman, Hoffman could could be a good backup player. You're just really limited what he could do athletically. Yeah, that's that's a, that's an issue. Man, Mike Solari would be lucky to have a job after I'm done with him if he tried to convince me BB to, uh, 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 Hoffman this whole time just for us to get to preseason game three and Shipley play better and Shipley yeah. can do some guard center stuff too. I don't. Yeah. I don't think Hoffman's doing much guard stuff. So I don't. I don't think yeah, anything's going to change. So please go let, ahead. Let me ask you. Yeah, you're right about. It. Let me ask you something though. Okay, you're not. You say you win eight offensive linemen. Yes, sir. Would you carry an extra defensive lineman? Because I got nine. Would you go ahead and go ten? Would you? How many? Would you carry uh, uh, an extra edge? I mean, we were talking about Muhammad. We were talking about Wheat. Would you carry one of those guys, or is there another the, – these corners? I got, you know, alphabetically not uh, – Booth, Carson, Diggs, Lewis, McQuam. I got five. Is there another one of these corners you like? So I'm looking at the D-line, right? Let me just put this up here so the, so the people can see what I'm, what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at D-line here. Uh, mm-hmm. Lawrence, Mozzie, Osa, I really think Micah – should be like in I, this, put, I put him as an end. I put him as an edge. I just put him as an edge. He he should be listed as an edge, Brian. But when we're talking about depth and stuff, I think uh, we have to pretend like Micah doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? In the yeah. event that he is playing linebacker, I think we have to look at the edge room as if Micah's not here. Because the only reason we're talking about Muhammad is that we're not talking about Micah playing. If Micah was a full time edge, Muhammad would be would be cut because he's the the sixth edge guy. Or 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 whoever loses him versus Wheat would be the the um sixth edge guy. But if I had to go Lawrence Golston, Nealon, we'll just say Parsons. Yeah. Osa Mazi makes six. 
Phillips Joseph makes eight. Mm-hmm. So do you and and I haven't mentioned guys like Carl Lawson. I haven't mentioned yeah. Justin yeah. Rogers, Muhammad, yeah. Wheat, or or just guys outside the building. If I'll it's, tell you what, Rogers has got better too a little bit. Rogers, Rogers was bad inside. Yeah. Right. I wonder if okay, that's one of those ones where if somebody if you put him on the street, yeah, and somebody claimed him, somebody take Rogers. I wouldn't be surprised. Somebody take Rogers. I, I think I Rogers for his body type, for his size, mm -hmm. has some has some really good movement ability. Yeah, he does. And then he can he can still be powerful in the middle. I I hope nothing bad happens to Rogers in this whole process of hey, we brought in Linville Joseph with a, and, and all that kind of stuff. Mm. I hope nothing bad happens to Rogers here because I really like him as a young dude, and, and I think next year is like really his time. But if if sure. if there's another candidate for, damn, your pinky finger broke. We, yeah. we you're out for the season. I I would yeah. love to find a way to gymnastics our way into keeping Rogers. Yeah, see, I I that that bothers me too because. Linville Joseph is likely not going to be here. This this is a one year kind of a deal. One hundred percent, absolutely, absolutely. And so now, I mean, even your head coach might not be here, and your defensive coordinator might, it might be a whole new. But Rogers, to me, when you watch his tape as if as a pro guy, when I was watching, I would say that kid is not. We where do we have him on the board when we were talking about the draft? Oh, we had him as a priority free agent. Sure. Oh, we had him wrong. He was wrong. I was wrong. Yeah. It was wrong. He's probably a you know he's probably a fifth, sixth round guy. Yeah, you know he, he that's wrong. You you mentioned it with the body type and the, his he plays with a lot of range for True. a guy that big. So, but he's going to end up getting put on the street. And we're all going to hold our breath and hope for the best. And he'll probably end back again. Todd Williams will come in and tell us we got all our guys back. I think your defense is a really weird spot because we're we're making cases to go heavy at D-line, but I think mm -hmm. in real life they're going to go heavy at DB and at yeah. linebacker. I think the linebacker room is going to be a little thicker than we think too. Yeah, Brad Shams got me a little worried. We, you know, Brad kept, you know, I was on, he was on with our pregame show on 105.3 The Fan yesterday and he was like, we were talking about the linebackers and and he was like, "Hey, I'm just gonna say this about Overshone. Mm. That uh, that hip, that hip pointer, maybe a little bit more significant than we got going here." Sure. He said it twice. He said it in the pregame, and he said it in the postgame. Yeah. And Brad ain't just throwing stuff up against the wall and hope everybody listens. He's sure. he's somebody saying, "Keep an eye on this. They might have to go long at. They might have to go long at both positions." I think you're right about that. Sure. <sighs> so so so. Where do you go short? We just mentioned going going running long back, all day. Running back, I went yeah. running back and tight end is where I went short. And I went I went one short traditionally from what you would do with offensive line. Yeah. You yeah. know, I went one short there. I went long at safety cuz I like Wood. Sure. I like Wood as a potential guy there. And I went I think maybe long at linebacker. We keep usually keep four, keep five. Yeah. But I, I like Buddy Johnson. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm a Buddy. I'm Buddy Johnson fan. I'm a, the Wood fan. So I had to find a way to get them on. So I had to go short at tight end and running back to make sure that happened. One last thing. So your tight ends are. Further I went long at receiver. I think. I think I went long at receiver. Six is that too many? I think I think six is about what you need at wide receiver, especially in this offense that's going to give up running the football in the middle of the season and just throw the ball all day. You're yeah, probably going to need. Enough. Yeah. Um, so Brian, your, your, your short at tight end, is that three tight ends? And is that Ferguson schoolmaker Ferguson, and, and yeah, Ferguson, Steven schoonmaker. Johnson, okay. So Brevin's money just going to have to get ate up and he's going to be a practice squad guy. I'm sorry. My lake house went to that young man, that $250,000. <laughs> I can show you that, bro. I can show you that too. I can sure use that too, man. We could, we could do some serious podcasts and stuff for that kind of money. Couldn't we? Yeah. 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 So, Hey man, the roster, uh, the roster cuts happen Tuesday. Now, Brian, how much urgency, urgency do you think the Cowboys have? And, and, and watch this, how, you know, how do these conversations go when you weigh, all right, the, the roster cuts have happened. Bring yeah. our guys back versus oh the Jets just cut Israel Abanacondo over there or yeah. the Dolphins just cut Jeff Wilson or something right like like yeah. how do we balance bringing our guys back versus their guys? See, this is the fight. This is where this depends on your coaching staff. If you have a head coach 
that really believes in personnel. Okay, and this guy got rid of me because I fought with him every day, of course, as Parcells. Mm. But if you brought players to the table that were better than the players we were playing with, or at least let the room vote on that, I mean, I've seen some wild highlight tapes. <laughs> yeah. You know, guys trying to sell, hey, we've got this, this corner, this guy from the Chiefs, let me tell you. And then you making this tape up and he's knocking every ball down. You're like going, yeah. okay, well, yeah. where are the other plays? Yeah. Where are the other plays in the tape? Yeah. You know, but it, a lot of it depends on your coach. If your head coach is willing, you could be super aggressive. And I think the Cowboys, for the most part, have been aggressive. I, with the additions, all that they've think about what they've done since training camp. They've completely remade sure. their defensive line. Yeah. You know, with so my hope, my hope is that Will still has the hammer. And if Anna Banacanda from the Jets was name right, Anna Banacanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess I said it right. Anna yeah. Banacanda, yeah. Pittsburgh. I'm about, I'm about yeah. <laughs> You, you're gonna what, we, what you call him Charlie Chips. You have some cute name for these guys like Charlie uh, Jeffrey Jiffy Cornbread Jenkins. There you go. I know people love that one when you do that. One. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this uh, this is terrible to say. You <laughs> what was our uh, what was our special guy? Why am I drawing a blank? Our special teams coach that Joe D Camillus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, Joe D Camillus used to come up with one, and his was. Oh, Joe shit the rag man. <laughs> this, guy, this guy was always. I ain't, know, you know, I, I ain't letting nobody call me that. We got to fight. Yeah, it's, me like, that. it's like, it's like, oh, you know, they've got this guy, Joe shit the rag man. You know, <laughs> I, I looked at him one time. He goes, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Shit the but the, Joe shit the rag man. But as Jeff the, yeah. yeah, exactly. As Jeffy. But if you, um, you know, if you have a coach that's willing to, to be aggressive, you know, yeah. to be, to be that guy to, you know, say, okay, yeah, we need, we could be better at running. I mean, it's going to hurt somebody's feelings. Yeah. You know, Mike McCarthy is probably going to have to hurt Bones Fossil's feelings. Yeah. But, but for the betterment of the program. Now, the fact that Mike doesn't have a full-time full contract after this year, yeah, <laughs> he might just say, let you, let, let the, let Bones Fossil have whoever he wants. I'm not going to fight him on this one. Mm. I hope that's not the case. I know it's going to be a lot of running back movement um, because you, I mean, you can only carry, you can only carry so many guys, you know. And I, right. I'm, I'm constantly going back to the Jets. I'm constantly yeah. going back to the Dolphins because both, because both those guys double down at at running back in the draft. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see who's left off that team, and yeah. it just sucks that the Cowboys can, you know. Whoever that they don't want is better than than who we have, but I man I I tell you it's it's hard because these teams fall in love with their players. Yeah, they do. They True. just do not. You know, you don't want to upset the coaches, mm. even though you need to upset the coaches. There's sometimes it's like, listen, trust me. I mean, if you're you know if you're Mike uh, you know, if you're Mike McCarthy and, and, and Mike Zimmer and those guys on defense, I don't know how you couldn't say that Will and Alex Loomis and those guys in the pro department haven't helped the defense. Sure. I don't know how you cannot say that, you know, if you do, then you're just, you know, you're being, you're being, as I like to say to Bobby dug in, Yeah. but you know, that's, that's where this thing's at. They've got to, they got to figure that out. And they, and if you trust your pro department, that you know you're going to there's better guys that we can bring in our team man go for it go for it. there's I, I i second draft the cowboys look like they're winning the first draft now go have a second draft go add two or three guys more to this team that we what we haven't even talked about yeah and abanda kanda running back pittsburgh yeah. with new york jets who's got no spot and their people are kind of whispering like, man, I don't know where this is a good kid. And pro football focus, if you believe their metrics, number one rated back in the preseason. I know it might cost you something, but I'd sure, I'd sure make a call to my, my guys over there at the, in Gotham and see if they, uh, they're interested in trading that running back. Deuce has to be your last running back because he's your second kick return guy, right? 
Mm-hmm. I think I think Cropper's worked himself out. I think Durden yeah. worked has worked himself out of that conversation. Yeah. Uh, Tyron Billy Johnson is about to go, pl- yeah. you know, play for his next team or whatnot. So it's yeah, it's, exactly. it's, yeah. it's it's got to be Vaughn, right? So yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Brian Bros, as long as Malik Davis don't take Deuce Vaughn spot, I guess I ain't got too much mean to say about it. But I do think that some of these some of these defenders will uh, have coaches fighting for them, you know. Yeah, and um, hey man, we'll see. We'll we'll see what happens Tuesday. Me and Broadus are gonna be there, of course, to give y'all the rundown and tell y'all uh, if the Cowboys are smart or if they goofy as hell for for cutting a player that should be on the team. Uh, anything else before we get about it, Brian? No, man. I am uh, like I say, I am looking forward to uh, you know the next couple of days. There'll be a lot of whispering, a lot of these are when you'll start making some calls too. Yeah. You, you're throwing you're throwing a lot of chum. This is when Jerry Jones would Stephen Jones would look at me and go, okay, start calling teams. Yeah. And you know, you start, you start, you know, you have an idea of what players, you have an idea of what players you want are going to move on from on Tuesday. And you call these teams and you say, Hey, listen, here's some guys. If you got any interest in these guys, let me know. But I would call every single team and, and try and, and talk about, you know. Hell, I almost one time had T.J. Huseman Zada traded for, but it didn't work out. But that's yeah. the kind of thing. When you make these conversations with other teams, then you you can find like, oh, hey, they're interested in moving this guy. Or, hey, can, we'd like this guy. Or, hey, they'll take a fifth-round pick for this guy. This next two days before the, the cut down, you can, you can throw a lot of chum in the water and really kind of drive this thing in a direction where you maybe can grab a guy or two. And hopefully the Cowboys – uh, we'll take advantage of that. And we appreciate y'all for not cutting us loose in this process. You know what I mean? I know it's easy for y'all to be like, man, forget Broadus, forget what yeah. Vash Lombardi is saying. But if y'all love the show, man, we we, we, we appreciate y'all for loving the show. Yeah. Thanks for uh, for tapping in. I'm a little more active on Twitter, by the way, so y'all can follow me at my Vash Lombardi. If y'all want to follow Brian, B-R-Y-N Broadus, not B-R-I-A-N Broadus. That's a whole nother character. He's B-R-Y-N Broadus. <laughs> uh, and yeah, man, we'll catch y'all next time, man. Y'all hold down for Doski Woski. Till next time. Crown.